Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Rain on the way, a lot of melting snow. Keeping an eye on things. The, here are some of the local streams and creeks and where they stand right now. But you can see they're forecasted to rise and some getting within a foot or so of the action stage. So if you're affected by any of these streams and creeks, just keep that in mind as we head on into the weekend. We'll have more as we go through the evening. Nothing right now. Yeah, we are dry out there. Just crystal clear. Beautiful day, but yeah, rain will be on the way over the next couple of days. Everybody got up near 50 today. Not bad. 46 in Reading and Coatesville at this hour, but it's 52 in uh, Gettysburg. 55 degrees in Chambersburg. 51 in the capital at this hour. As we pull on out, again, it's pretty dry all across most of the Northeast. This is the system we're watching. You can see how the moisture is pouring in off the Gulf of Mexico, and that's going to continue to move north. There's a, an area of storminess right over parts of Louisiana, and that's going to start to move to the north. Another storm coming in from the north will pick it up and move it over us, and it looks like we're going to get some wet weather as we go through the next couple of days, particularly tomorrow night, heading right into the day on Saturday. But look at our Gettysburg sky cam. That's a pretty picture, isn't it? Just kind of nice out there. A little bit of a breeze today, but that's starting to diminish. That'll be the case as we head on through the evening. Gettysburg right now at 50 degrees, 9 degree dew point. The air is very, very dry. 19% relative humidity. But there's that northerly breeze. Just a little bit of a breeze out there. Here's your forecast as we head through the evening then. Mostly clear skies. The winds start dying down. So the temperatures will drop pretty quickly into the 40s and then probably in the mid 30s by about 10 o'clock tonight. I think overnight we're a little chilly. Nothing we're not used to of recent weeks. 20s to near 30 degrees for uh, the overnight lows. Then tomorrow, I think it's a, a nice start to the day. Some sun, a little cool. Then the clouds come in. We still get to near 50 seasonal temperatures. Look for the rain to start probably after it gets dark. So we're a little slower on the rain, but it, it looks like it only sticks around into at least uh, probably the first half of Saturday. Here the, here's the predictor showing the numbers starting to fall into the 30s as we go through about 10 o'clock tonight. Then overnight, we're still clear. And that allows the temperatures to drop into the 20. So kind of a frosty cold morning tomorrow morning. But then as we go through midday, we get up into the 40s. A little bit of high level cloudiness coming in around lunchtime, and then the clouds really start to thicken. By this time tomorrow, we'll be overcast and we'll be probably in the lower to mid 40s still. Then the rain starts coming in. That comes in as we go through the evening hours. Kind of a rainy, kind of raw tomorrow night heading into Saturday. Temperatures in the 30s and low 40s for a while. But gradually on Saturday, we should get back up there near that 50 degree mark. So again, the rain comes in probably tomorrow evening. After dark, it sticks around at least the steadier rain, we think, into the first part of Saturday. May taper to just scattered showers as we get into the afternoon. About 48 degrees on Sunday. Still got to leave the, at least the risk of a, a shower in there. A little cooler, too, and a brisk wind on, on Sunday. Monday looks nice. I uh, wouldn't, wouldn't doubt we get up near 60 degrees on Monday before the next front gets here sometimes Tuesday. I thought it was going to get much chillier, but it looks like it's going to come in, in a couple of waves. But I do expect below normal temperatures by the end of next week and into next weekend. In the meantime, our kids' art from tonight comes from Luis Rodriguez from Lampeter Elementary School. He's eight years old and it looks like uh, maybe a few lightning bolts coming out of those clouds. Not quite getting that yet, but we will get some rain over the next couple of days.